Beautiful beaches, great weather, and a thriving art scene drive visitors to the Sun Coast, but will those visitors be able to find their way here with less advertising? State lawmakers cut Visit Florida's budget from $75 million last year to $25 million this year. Now local tourism agencies are looking at what's next. SNN's Samantha Sonner has the story. As Visit Florida's budget increased, so did tourism's economic impact on the Sun Coast. Over the last few years, our hotels have seen their average daily rate increase. They've seen their occupancy increase, specifically in the need periods of the year. And ultimately, we've seen our econo economic impact increase because visitors were coming, they were staying longer, they were spending more money. Our business was up again for the fifth year in a row, uh, so things are doing well. Uh, we have a nice diverse uh, visitation on a year-round basis and that's really the objective. Visit Florida has been able to help them by providing things like more advertising opportunities. Without the support of Visit Florida, we would not be in, in markets on our own uh, just because of, because of our limited budget. So, you know, we're able to partner with them in the United Kingdom, in Central Europe, on media missions throughout the United States. So we're able to participate in a Visit Florida uh, branded advertising campaign at a much subsidized cost. So with Visit Florida's limited funding, it's really going to stifle our ability to advertise. Facing over $50 million in cuts, Visit Florida President and CEO Ken Lawson says it's those programs that are on the chopping block. I'm going to have to review my programs, come back to the core, cut staff, and will be unable to assist you know, our small, medium, and large communities with these markets in the future. And our local agencies are preparing for the potential drop in tourists. Often when a destination, or any entity for that matter, stops their marketing, their competition just amps up theirs, and so we don't want to lose market share to our competition. We're concerned. Uh, we were ready to face the challenge, though, and uh, we just got to work harder and partner more to continue to sustain uh, our number one industry in the state of Florida. Reporting in Sarasota, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And the budget isn't finalized until it's signed by Governor Rick Scott, who could call a special session later this year for lawmakers to make changes.